Redlining is used to justify higher interest rates. It's used to justify more expensive prices for basic goods and services. And it inherently extracts value from critical assets and from communities. It's not just about denying resources, it's about extracting them and sending them elsewhere. People in redlined communities work just like anybody else. They invest in their homes. And yet their homes are not valued the same. They invest in their communities and those communities are not valued the same and not based on any hard underwriting. It's based on somebody's perception of how valuable a community is. That's the other part of what makes redlining so extractive. That even when people self-invest, not looking for external investment, but self-invest, even that is taken away from them. And so that's the other reason why redlining is so problematic. It doesn't just deny, it takes from what people have earned. <laughs> 